Welcome back to Marketing Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. Again, we're talking about marketing with marketing experts from around the country. Today, we're in Ortley Beach, New Jersey with Angela Fioris of Integrity Media. And Angela, welcome to our conversation today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's exciting to speak with you. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here. We're looking forward to learning more about you. And uh, to get us started, uh, you've been in marketing for a while. Why don't you tell us how you got started in the industry? I was originally a graphic design major in junior college, and that was my initial foray into designing advertisements and creating copy and coming up with designs. And it just led to developing associations with other people that were doing things like videography, creating commercials, creating videos, and it just sort of grew from, from there. Yeah, well, it's great when you have that one piece that plays into a lot of pieces because video does need graphic design and marketing always needs graphic design. Um, so how did you take your graphic design background and really grow your uh, influence within the industry and, and working with clients? It, it's funny. I, I started as a graphic designer and thought I was going to be a graphic designer. But then after just like a couple of years of that, I started to venture into the other things like writing commercials and becoming associated with people that owned ad agencies and then working for them. And uh, the graphic design was more like the foot in the door, which then opened me up to other aspects of advertising I did not even consider when I was 18, 19, or 25 years old even. And there's a lot of growth that happens with that because you, you really, you get that background and now you get the exposure to a lot of different things and you can see how that translates your skills into doing these, uh, these different aspects. So how does that all now play out into uh, the things you're doing with Integrity Media and your clients? Yeah, and, and another component to that that I'll add real quick, which is uh, the people in the networks that you develop during the time that you're accruing these skills and these abilities, because they're the ones that really help you along the way. And then as I've begun to form my company, uh, some of those same people have still been either mentors or providers of information or something to help me grow my business along. They've never gone, truly gone away. A, a good network really is something that is truly important. There's some people who really don't see the value, but when, you, but when you really look at it, these are the people who can be mentors, can be great references for jobs and for people becoming uh, clients for you in the, in the future. So you never know the person you meet when you're 22 years old and what kind of role they're going to play as, as, as time goes on. My, my main video guy and I go back to 26 years ago and we just started out as college roommates and, and here we are doing projects together all the time. So you, you don't know where it's going to come from. You really don't. Yes. Life is truly a journey as is the work that a company does with developing their story and their marketing and the people that they're working with. So when you start off with a client, what kind of conversation are you having with them about their story, about creating the, the messaging that they need to drive the revenues that they're looking for? It's really an organic kind of conversational fact finding. I, I don't really think I have a set way of figuring out answers to that question, but I let the customer or the client tell me through their stories of what they do, which then lends me to start to formulate what kind of scenarios lead someone to call my client for their services, right? Because that's where the story really starts. Why would someone need them? And through them telling me that story of why people need them and then how they come to that rescue is really how we start to come up with the creativity that goes along with it. So in developing the concepts of their marketing mix, what are some of the, the key components that you like to use that will get good results for your clients? Well, it really comes down to the audience that the client's trying to reach because we can do a hundred different things, whether it's traditional to digital and, and whatever else is in between. So depending on the audience, who are they trying to reach? What type of assets do we offer that could be uh, uh, leveraged into reaching that audience best? And then that I allow that to dictate what components we put into place for each client. It's not cookie cutter what we do. There's really a lot of thought put into it. Uh, 
as well as uh, making sure we're accurately trying to reach the people we're trying to reach. But specifically, I mean, we do everything. We, we produce TV ads, we buy TV campaigns, whether it's on a local, uh, regional or national level campaign. And then we also provide digital services, whether the client needs location-based services, audience-based type targeting, uh, SEO, website design, all of those factors come into play. Um, one of the big things I look for when I'm speaking with a client on the first call is what does their website look like? That gives me a lot of insight immediately into what they may or may not be doing on their own uh, without any guidance. So um, I tend to lead the questioning towards that based on what I see uh, looking at a website. And that sort of tells me uh, what kind of questions to ask that client. It's really true. You can learn a lot from a client about their about them from their website and learning more about how it is the way it is or why it's still the same way that it was five years ago. And uh, that really does lead into the next step of, of comments and, and, and observations. So we really thank you for sharing your uh, what, what you're providing with your clients and the things that you are active with uh, really throughout your career. And really thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's fun to share these kinds of things because you never know how it's going to help somebody else, right? That one takeaway can lead you down a new path. Exactly. Very, very true. And thank you all for joining us as well. That one takeaway could really lead you down a different path. Uh, there's a lot to take from this conversation with, with Angelo, and there's a lot more information to learn about Integrity Media, starting with what we have here on Daily Ad Brief. So please check that out and go out, have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.